Hi, the Life and Confessions of a Hypnotherapist Life Coach, Episode 3. It's Thursday. How are you? I had a good day yesterday. I worked quite late yesterday, about 8 o'clock. And today I'm making sure that I kind of started a bit later. I'm finishing a bit earlier, 7 o'clock. And then I might go out with some friends for a drink or see my family. But making sure I know that I have that balance after work. I'm not working all day. I've got a break right now for an hour in the middle. Um, so keeping that balance between John and therapist John and life coach John. So knowing who I am and switching back from, to myself and sort of resetting myself. We all have a reset button just there. Did you know? You just press it and it sets you back to how you were when you're at your best. Um, it's just there. So one of the questions I always get asked as a therapist life coach um, is do you just do weight loss and smoking? And um, that one's a common one. Um, no, don't just do weight loss and smoking, although I do a lot of weight loss. I do do smokers, but weight loss has been an area where I've been very successful in, and wherever you're successful in, you tend to have more and more people come to you. However, um, the people I've seen over the years for different problems have been so, you know, so, uh, such a variety um, that your day is never the same. So I'm going to try and remember some because I've got no script off the top of my head. So let's just think of um, exams. So, so children with exam fears, um, people at work with exam fears, people with driving tests, people with the knowledge, any kind of exams where you have to um, do a test. Um, public speaking, someone wants to do a wedding speech, someone has to speak up at work. Um, confidence, self-esteem, maybe someone wants to be better socially, maybe someone wants to meet a new partner and is a bit nervous, maybe someone has social anxiety and then you've got anxieties and depression and sadness and things where you kind of get stuck and then you've got other things like fears, so you might have fears of flying, fears of spiders, fears of mice, fears of little birds, um, fears of um, um, heights. And then you've got kind of phobias. So you might have phobias around certain foods. So you might want to eat healthy, but you really have a phobia about salad and you want to eat it, but you can't. Or you might have a phobia about marmalade or you might have a phobia about balloons. Um, you might have a phobia about books. Um, you could have phobias about pretty much anything. But then you could also have OCD. So you could have this OCD problem where you have to switch the light on and off so many times before you leave the house or you worry that the house is shut and then you have to drive around the block and go back and check it or you could have an OCD about whether you left your hair straight and it's plugged in or you could have an addiction you could be addicted to food or, or some kind of drug or you could be addicted to porn or you could be addicted to all sorts of things um, and then you could have sort of just other things like where you're just in a good place but you want the confidence to step up and maybe change jobs or you want to think about your business and upscale your business. Um, there are so many different problems and, you know, bedwetting, emetophobia, there are so many different ones that come up during the day um, that each day is never the same. So any problem of the mind, any problem where the mind seems to affect your daily life, someone will phone me up for. But as a hypnotherapist, it's not that you put an advert in the paper or on Facebook and you go, oh, they're all going to ring up. They don't. They ring up when they're at their most painful. They ring up when the pain is worst. So it's like you're just letting them know you're there. You're just letting them know you're around. You know, a lot of my adverts are just, I'm just in. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm about. And then when someone has a really bad day, they remember that guy that's a therapist. I'll ring him up. And then they come. And I say to people, come for one session. You know, Come and see how it feels for one session. Because normally, I can make them feel a whole lot better in just one session. And the whole thing about offloading your rubbish, giving me your rubbish to look after for a little while, putting it out on my carpet. And I say, look, imagine you put it here. I'll look after it for a while. How will it feel to walk out feeling lighter? How would that feel? And then like that will feel great. And you're just literally playing with metaphors with them. But what I want to do is I want to interrupt their problem with techniques and strategies and hypnosis as well. And hypnosis for me is always a bit like 
Do you remember when someone in your life just said something to you, a line or a message, and it's stuck in your mind? Like someone said once to you, a little, a little line to motivate you, and you went, no, I like that, and you kept it. Or someone said something negative to you once, and it's stuck in your mind for 20 years. That was like a hypnotic suggestion, right? It just stuck with you. So imagine that you come in and see a hypnotherapist, and they give you a suggestion that you really want and accept. It sticks in your head, and then it starts to become a belief. And then what happens is your thoughts become beliefs, and then your beliefs turn into decisions. And then those decisions turn into actions and state, you know? It's like, if you have a good belief and a thought, you go, say your thought is, I can do this. I can do this. I, I'm going to have a really good day. Imagine if you think, I'm going to have a really good day. It becomes a belief. This is going to be a really good day. Suddenly, you look different. Your shoulders are back. You're kind of walking tall. Your head's up. You feel happy. You're smiling at everyone. Your decisions become clear and quick. You trust your own judgment immediately. And then from those decisions comes your actions. And from those actions, because you're taking action, you get good results. But when I meet people and they feel stuck, they feel slower, they feel like I'm not good enough. So their thoughts and their beliefs of I'm not good enough lead to their physiology. Shoulders are down, looking down, slower, and then their decisions, they think I'm over. Think about them, think about them, think about them, probably procrastinate. And so their actions don't happen, right? And there's no results. And it's our job to start to get in the way of that. To find out what is this pattern, what is this loop that they're stuck in, and interrupt it, jump in the middle of it. And it's a great life. And I'm just showing you daily, maybe, how it feels to have a job like this. You know, I don't know if you've ever had people say, you know what, you're a really good listener. And then they start coming around every day with their problems, talking to you, and you're like, oh my God, I'm like their counsellor. And they're not paying you. Imagine getting paid for it. And imagine knowing when someone offloads their stuff on you, how to let it go, how to go back to being yourself, and then seeing another person, and then using that, and using their thoughts and the feelings they gave you to understand them, and then the week you see them next, you really totally get how it is to be then, but knowing how to reset yourself and become you again. If you think that this might be a good kind of life for you, maybe keep watching. It's just there for you. And we, you know, we do lots of weekends, free weekends where you can come along and just try out um, some of the techniques and we'll use some of them on you, let you see how it feels. But just come and have a taster if you want. So it's Thursday, I've got a very light day tomorrow, two hours tomorrow, and that's where I'm working. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm working four hours on each of those days. Um, again, the time is what you want to do it in. I, I, I choose these times because I can. If, if you couldn't do weekends, you might do just Monday to Friday. But it's your choice, because you're your own boss, all right? Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a really good day.